Hello again. Welcome to today's edition of the Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Sam Chiedozie. I pastor Glory Chapel, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God based in Newcastle, northeast of England. Our topic for today is Ways of Rising. Our Bible passage is taken from Judges chapter 6, verse 11 through to 16. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebrine tree, which was in Oprah, which belonged to Joash the Abiezrite, while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the winepress, in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you you mighty man of valor. Gideon said to him, O my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go! In this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? So he said to him, O my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you, and you shall defeat the Midianites as one man. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 40 verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. Our reflections for the day. In today's Open Heavens Reflections, our Father in the Lord taught us about three ways of rising. Before we do that, it is important firstly to look at our memory verse where the psalmist talked about waiting patiently for the Lord. It is important for us to wait for the Lord. However, after waiting, we can then rise to where God wants us to be. The first way we can rise is by being pushed up by God. We learn from Open Heaven's Daily Guide today that Gideon had to be pushed up from a place of relegation. When the angel met him and told him that he was a mighty man of valor, he wondered what the angel was talking about. The Lord will surely push you up in the name of Jesus. Secondly, in the book of Acts, the lame man at the gate called Beautiful was sitting there begging. And when Peter and John prayed for him, he remained there on the floor. But Peter pulled him up, and the man never went back to his begging. I pray that the Lord himself will lift you up this season, and you will never go down again in the name of Jesus. Finally, the third way you can rise is to be carried up. Whatever may be your state of lowliness, the Lord will carry you up with his almighty arm from now on in the name of Jesus. Elijah was carried up by whirlwind into heaven and he never saw corruption again. I speak to you today that in the name of Jesus, the almighty God will carry you on eagle's wing in the mighty name of Jesus. For someone who is listening to this telecast today, you are on your way to the top as you receive the grace to rise from the ordinary to the extraordinary. Nothing will stop you as you move forward today in the name of Jesus. Our prayer point, Father, beyond my expectations, lift me up. I pray that the Almighty God will lift you up. I pray that the Almighty God will sustain you and your story will turn out for good in the mighty name of Jesus. See you and have a victorious day. God bless you.